Hello. My first reaction when I heard the news was I was surprised. We knew she was an old lady, but we didn't know she would die so soon. And then a mixture of joy and sadness. Sadness that we lose someone that we've known and loved, but joy because she was a Christian and we know that she's gone to a better place. How will the church feel her loss? I don't think the church will have many other thoughts than those that I'm sharing with you now. Um, she was a great leader in her way. I think people in Gibraltar understand the word governor well. Uh, the head of our church is Jesus Christ. The governor is between us and the head. And the governor does a lot of work behind the scenes, which is not seen. Um, so just as the governor in Gibraltar has an intermediate role between the people and the crown. The supreme governor of the Church of England has a role between the church and, and the head of the church. How do you think she'll be remembered? She'll be remembered as a woman of great faith. She came to the throne when she was just a young woman. I, I had a great surprise, a moment of revelation uh, at the, the Diamond Jubilee 10 years ago because when I was a child, I thought of the Queen as an old lady. And as I grew up, she was an old lady. But then at the time of the Diamond Jubilee, I worked out that she had become Queen as a young woman at the age of 25. And at that time, my daughter was just 25. So I tried to imagine my daughter taking on that kind of responsibility. She was a woman who asked people to pray for her and who prayed herself. She was a woman of prayer, and I think her prayer life sustained her through the difficult times that she experienced. Yes, I wanted to ask you about that because she did go through some turbulent times in her 70-year reign, uh, both private and, and also public as well. Um, how will that faith have helped her get through those very difficult times? She will have looked to her role model, who is Jesus, who we call the Servant King, and she would have seen how he got through difficult times and asked for his strength. How will the cathedral here in Gibraltar mark her loss? What are the plans? So we have been open today for longer than usual so that people could come in and pray and maybe light a candle. On Sunday morning, we will make some changes to our usual service. Our final hymn will be the national anthem with the new words and I've been sticking the new words in the back of the hymn books this afternoon so that we get them right. It will seem very strange to sing, God save our gracious King, send him victorious, and so on. So we have the words written down so we get them right. And we are planning a special service next Thursday at noon, midday, when we will give thanks for her life, pray for her family, and especially pray for Charles as the new King. Can I just ask you very quickly, uh, Charles uh, III does have some very big shoes to fill. What are your thoughts going forward with the new monarch? Okay, again, I'm thinking Elizabeth became queen when she was young. Charles is past what we call retirement age and he's taking on this extra responsibility and we will have to pray for him. Uh, the institution of the monarchy is as good as the monarch, and we pray for a good monarch.